Hi there, I'm Steve Knutson. I am a Microsoft MVP for Office Services and Apps. This week's been um, quite interesting with questions about uh, collecting signatures and documents. Uh, one of the um, out-of-the-box ways to do this in SharePoint is actually a very old feature which comes from SharePoint 2010 and behaves a bit differently to the um, tools like DocuSign, um, but it's a free tool, so if you're needing a way to collect signatures um, quickly, this is still quite a good way to do it, I think. So I'm going to start with the document library, it contains a document in here, um, and then I've opened that document in Microsoft Word. Um, I might have a block of text in here that I want to have, and then below that I might want to insert a signature. So I'm just going to go into the insert menu, I'm going to choose the insert office signature line, and add that in. Now I'm going to add into here my name, or the name of the signatory, um, I'm going to put in my job title, and then I'm going to put in the email address as well. Now, <clears throat> what I can do here is just save, save that with the document, and you'll see it inserts a signature block into the file. Save it back to SharePoint, and then close out of Word. So it's really important that document's closed for the next steps in this work in this process. So now I've got my document in my library, I need to configure a couple of things in the site. The first thing I need to do is enable the out-of-the-box workflows. So I do that by going into the cog and then choosing um, site information and then going to the advanced site, collection, uh, site settings. From there I'm going to choose site collection features and from site collection features I'm just going to check that the workflow is enabled. So if I scroll to the bottom of the page, uh, look for the workflows option, the aggregate, aggregated set of out-of-the-box workflows and make sure that this is active. If it's not activated, click activate to activate it. That enables the workflows in the site. Now, once I've done that, I need to then go to the document library that's going to hold the documents contain needing signatures. In this case, it's a library called Signature Demo. And in the library settings, choose Workflow. On the Workflow screen, I'm going to configure an out-of-the-box SharePoint 2010 workflow called Collect Signatures. So by clicking into this screen here, you'll see there's no workflows here currently. I'm going to choose Add a Workflow. And the Add a Workflow feature asks me to configure a few settings for the signatures. So I'll show you how that works. So from here, collect signatures, SharePoint 2010. See, told you it was old. Give it a name. Um, and then just leave the other settings as, as they are by default. Choose next. And then once that's done, on here we can assign additional sign signatures. So if I have multiple signing blocks, I can add additional stages in by clicking this wee down arrow. But in this case, I've just got one person to sign. And you can also um, set these to run as parallel or serial. You can also include a CC person to CC into the um, tasks that that person doesn't approve, but gets notified that that of any changes or notifications. So I'm just going to save that setting. Okay, and just the out of the box options here. Once I've saved that, this workflow will then be enabled on that document library. So you'll see I've now got an option here called Get Signatures. And if I jump over into my document library, and just refresh my page here, you'll see my document sitting in here, um, unsigned. So now if I right click this document, and go down to the More Options, Workflow, I can choose the workflow option to send this for signing. Now this is different to Power Automate. Um, it's using an old style SharePoint workflow, so some of the features in this workflow are old school, but still, again, it's a quick solution to a problem. Once that workflow starts, the screen comes up, I can go choose the Get Signatures workflow. You see there's no workflows currently running, and I can put the name of the person that I want to sign this document. So in this case myself, then start the workflow. So in the background this is going to kick off a workflow process. That process itself will also send a notification to me asking if I want to um, sign the document. Or an email notification. So let's give that a moment, that in order to do its thing. <clears throat> Once this bit's done, I'll show you some of the useful features within Word itself, where you can actually, um, where it actually how it behaves with the document. So now we've got a workflow in progress on our document. If I open that document, so I will actually receive an email notification that I can click the link to open from, 
but also if I'm just going to open this document on the desktop app, you'll start Word, open the document, and you'll see it's got a signing block down here. Now, one of the things that's going to happen is in a moment, it's going to come up and it's going to ask me, and it's going to tell me that this document needs signing, and so to view the signatures. It's also sent me an email with a link to the document as well. So if I push that down over here, choose sign. And now because I'm using a Surface laptop or any device with a touch screen, you can come into here and actually sign the screen. So I'm just going to sign using my pen. Um, and then it's going to, um, or I can select an image if I've got a scan signature in this scenario. So I'm just now I'm going to go sign the document. And OK. And you'll see that it's popped my signature into the signature block and the time, the date in which I did the change and the remote signer details down here. You'll see it's also said mark this as final. Uh, the author has marked this document as final to discourage editing and it's saying edit anyway. I don't want to edit, I just want to close. So I'm going to close my document. And now my document um, is a signage document inside SharePoint. If I right click or click on that document again and view it, if I view it in the web browser, you'll notice that it shows, um, tries to show the block, but just says this uh, document is signed, but it doesn't actually show it. So that fact, in order to see the signature, you need to be in the desktop version. But you'll see that the, say this, uh, see the message here to say this document is digitally signed. Saving changes will invalidate the digital signature. Um, and then it's saying it's in compatibility mode. But if we're going to open in the desktop, so maybe a good suggestion here would be to set the default setting on this library to actually open the directly in the desktop app as well. You'll see that Word also tells you that this document is marked as final and that the signatures are currently valid. So nobody's changed this document. If I change the document, I can edit anyway. You'll see it says it's going to remove the signatures. And the signature has now been removed. So that document is no longer valid. So it's a good way to validate that, that document. I won't save those changes. We'll leave the document saved. So that's a really quick uh, overview of the document signing feature within Word um, and SharePoint. Um, hopefully you'll find that useful. Um, as I said, old school feature, but still has a good use today.